Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is an ultrasonic cleaner that I've just purchased from China. So the model number is a Daddy DA968 and the options available are 30 watt, 50 watt and a power on and off. There's also some uh, a stick on information there in English and Chinese. If you want to pause it and read it you can do. Pause the video. Uh, Chinese warning label, whatever that is, I don't know. A quality control on the bottom. So let's go ahead and uh, the really interesting thing I found with this one was it's a stainless steel bath and it's a stainless steel lid which is very unusual for the price I paid. So it's uh, that's only plastic coating it though but I'll just leave it on it doesn't do any harm. So that's just to cover it when it's running to stop water splashing everywhere. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So it cycles there until you choose either 30 watt or 50 watt. So let's go ahead and I always choose 50 watt because it's almost double the power and it cleans better. So it then gives you a minute and then you just press start or if you want to ex extend it you keep pressing the button of the wattage you've selected. I don't know how high it will go but if you want to just leave it up for a higher amount of time see if it will go to 30 and yeah goes to 30 and back to 1. So then you just press power and it'll start but uh, I don't want to start it because it's got nothing in it at the moment. So let's go ahead and pull that and show you the uh, the power connector. So it's just a normal EU plug which is like a toothbrush charging plug. So I asked the seller if he could send me a three, three uh, pin adapter and that's what he sent me there. So that's he threw that in free. I don't think it was supposed to come, but he just put it in with a box. So that, that got me up and running with it. Just bear with me. Let's just move that out of the way. So I've showed you the actual ultrasonic cleaner. Let's go ahead and show you the instructions now. So these are quite small writing here, so I'll try and... Uh, I haven't actually read this, because I don't think you need to, but if you want to read it before you purchase and it gives you any idea of what you're what you mustn't buy and what you want to buy you can pause it and read the uh, instructions it might all be rubbish I haven't even read it so I couldn't tell you let's just get all of it in if I can so yeah what I chose was the highest wattage power I could get and if I had a choice I'd go even higher but I don't want to spend any more than I did. So that's the operation front panel. But uh, go for the highest wattage you can for the cheapest amount of money. So that's that done. Just bear with me just while I get the price I paid for it. So this is what I paid for it. Let's go ahead and show you that close up. So that's what the one I got. So it's mini ultrasonic cleaner bath for cleaning jewellery, glasses, circuit board. So I paid $17.99 with an EU plug, but he may well have run out now, so look for around about that price. They do smaller ones with plastic tubs that the stuff sits in, but I like the stainless steel. So that's the seller I got it from, Super Global Centre. Like I said, I paid $17.99, and it came from... Shenzhen China there we go at the bottom so that's the price I paid which I think is a fantastic price $17.99 I expected to pay 50 or 60 quid for something of this quality so that's it let's just show you the box it came in because I saw something quite funny on it so that's what it this is what it came in it actually came from the UK so they sent it in bulk to the UK and then it was labeled up in the UK for some reason I don't know what was going on there so ultrasonic cleaner there with, with a clear lid Actually a clear plastic lid but close enough. But that's the Chinese information. And uh, it was in a very tight envelope so they actually stuck the sticky to the top of the box there. So this is the interesting thing. So ultrasonic spreading in liquid can cause strong dissemination, air and emulsification phenomena which can produce countless toothful bubble. And these bubble will continue to produce under large pressure. Then a bubble break and produce strong wallop and negative pressure suction that make your flexible dirt peel off and kill all viruses. So the reason I got this is because uh, 
I didn't really want to take the bearings apart, I wanted to clean them and uh, the ultrasonic bubbles get right inside between the ball and the cage. So uh, let's, just, let's just show you the top there, so ultrasonic cleaner and then it says made in China. So yeah I wanted to get in, get all the grease out between the ball and the cage and I just use an old toothbrush and get right inside the bearing and spin it round in the water and you can see all the oil and grease and, and, and thick grease lift off and float to the surface. So what I'll do is I've used it about 15 or 20 times now so I've got a good idea of, of how it works. Let's just put that back in of how it works. So I will be doing a video of, of, to show you how to use it. How to use, how I use mine. You can use it however you want but I like to use hot boiling water and uh, and another special ingredient if I need to but uh, it's impressive to watch it clean the bearing and you can tell straight away it's done its job and it's just a simple cheap way of cleaning if you if you clean a lot of bearings this is the best way to do it so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, check back soon cheers